thinking of that. <laughs> Live from the Friars Club in Midtown Manhattan, it's the Pat Cooper Show with his guest, Susie Essman from Curb Your Enthusiasm and sports writer, legendary sports writer, Phil Pepe. Here he is, Pat Cooper. Why don't you accident. tell people who's on my show? <laughs> well, somebody's got to. Well, because first of all, I have nothing to talk about. So at least I, if I say, you know, Susan's here and so is Mr. Peppy here. Okay. That takes 10 seconds. Oh, God. Okay. That, that, See you guys. It was a great right show. What is that accent he has? Midtown Manhattan. What, where are you from? Detroit. Detroit. Oh. <laughs> Very good. You got a good ear. Yeah. You come from Detroit. Detroit. Came all the way here just to do your show. You didn't come all the way here from Detroit <laughs> to do this show. You I did. You want to get out of Detroit. Uh, <laughs> who doesn't? Anyway, folks, let me tell you something. This is my fourth time uh, in the last four months. We do one on one. Uh, I promise you, and I don't lie to you, I haven't heard anyone that's heard this thing. So help me God. <laughs> I asked everybody. I asked doctors, lawyers. I asked anybody who knows anything about a computer. I asked people any, and they said, Pat, no disrespect, but they're pulling your leg. <laughs> <laughs> this is a couple of guys who just don't like you and want to torture you once a month. So what am I That's doing okay, here? Huh? What am I doing here? Because you love me, Susan. That's true. Because that I respect I you and I care. And I said, even if nobody's listening, who's going to show up? Joy Behar showed up last right. week. You're close with Joy. I said, let me play on their friendship. Phil I haven't seen since the 60s when Phil and I were at a bar at the, uh, the Gulf Ocean Mile. I worked there, and Yogi Berra was sitting outside the showroom, <laughs> and I said, Yo, Yogi, go in the showroom and see the show. He said, I can hear, I can hear from out here, because he thought, he thought I was going to charge him. <laughs> Another big tipper, Yogi. If you're cheap? listening, Yogi. Is Yogi cheap? Uh, huh? Yogi's cheap? Yo no, 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 no. Cheap is a nice word. Okay. <laughs> He's a catastrophe. He's got old dollar bills. But he worked in a time when you didn't make the money in baseball. He didn't make the A-Rod money. Let me tell you something. See, he's Let got, me tell you something. I'm sorry. He's got the second dollar he ever uh, earned. With the first one, he bought a wallet. Okay. Now, let me tell you something. When he was making 50000 a year, he kept 50000 a year. You see, he's got more money than A-Rod and all these kind of guys. He's got stuff that he never spent anything. But that's Yogi. Yogi, but you know something? If you were a spendthrift, it, it, it wouldn't match your whole physical being. Right, because we it know really he's not would. spending it on clothes. Even DiMaggio was cheap and Mickey was... Uh, when I was with all of them, they don't, they don't go. I, Rocky Marciano was my hero. Oh, Rocky Marciano <laughs> would come with six, seven people. Rocky would eat like three, four steaks with eggs on top of it at nighttime. Then he's on past guest. And I turn around and, you know, and the bill ends up, oh, 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 champ. He said, Pat, thank you. I said, the champ. I said, look at this. I met the champ after he quit fighting. Yeah, because so he, he got to pick up the check because he beat the shit out of you. No, <laughs> nobody beats the shit out of me. <laughs> well, because you get that verbally. Susan, Pat. one thing I tell you. Nobody. I'm a killer. <laughs> I'm a fucking killer. I fear nothing but nobody. I'd take on anybody. That's why they back off because they're not sure if I'm bluffing. I ain't fair nobody. Anybody comes up to me wants to bully me, they got to That's why you it. look so good at your huh? age. That's why you look so good at your age. It's the food. No, it's not it's the, the food. It's the food and venom. the sleep. It's the venom. It's the sleep. You got to fucking sleep. No, that's All the, these guys both, are gone in my both. business. I'm serious. The guys are in my business. 60, 55, 60. You know, they're going, geez, how come you look better than me? You got to sleep. When you finish the show, go home. Go home, sleep. I sleep 10, 12 hours a day. I get up, I'm healthy. I look at the skin, I want to kiss myself. Now, were you ever a drinker? Huh? Were you ever a drinker? No. no. I drink wine when I have sit down and have dinner yeah, not, yeah. because it's very good for you. That's what I... I'm when not, after a show, you I don't go out. nowhere. You see, you saw me in Schenectady? Yeah. All right, well, I went to the pizza joint next door. Well, I go you, anywhere. I work you at could, garage. You, know you put you the money up, I work at garage. Drink. Anywhere in this world, you can find some place to drink. So that's not even the point. No, but I'm yeah. bringing the point out. You know, I go next door for pizza, drink a little wine. I don't. I was married 42 years. Where am I going? But you lived in what? Vegas. That's a big party town. That don't matter. I work with the biggest stars in the business. If they don't invite me to go to the table, I go home. Because I'm not a schnoozer. A I don't schnoozer. I don't schnoozer. <laughs> I don't schnoozer. I don't fuck with nobody. I go on my own. Now. Now. Barbara Walters, I hope you're listening to me. <laughs> Don't bet on it. I hope you're listening to me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the year of the rat. Now, China, China celebrates New Year's. I think the year of the rat was a couple of years ago. Yeah. But unfortunately, in this country, everybody's ratting on everybody. 
Now, Barbara, I love you, and I love to enjoy your shows, and I love you. You're a good the journalist. Why did you have to tell people that you had an affair for seven years with a guy in Massachusetts? What's his name? Brooks, Senator Brooks. What did you gain? What did you gain? Why did you I'll keep you your mouth gained, shut? Pat. Are you going to read? She's been you, on every show yeah. discussing because, it. That's what she gained. <laughs> because her ego wants people out there to know that she got laid. <laughs> because people said to her, people said to her, and I quote my friend, she never had an affair with anybody because she's not that good looking. So she says, oh, really? I had a guy seven years. So I'm saying, what? The guy? I mean, he's not half in a grave. What? Why? Listen to me. I'm married 42 years. I've been accused. I've been accused. And I'm saying, you know, what, what, if I did it, it's none of your business. This country, sex is a sin. It's a curse. Sex is a curse. I go to Sweden. I'm going to Sweden in two weeks. It's a porno festival. It's the week of the pony. So I'm going there. And that's where I'm going. So people here are perfect. You're going to go to a porno festival. None of your business. I didn't go when I was married. Then I backed off. I'm going to go to Sweden. Go. And I want to see what's going on there. That they are open and happy. And they make love. And they kiss and hug. Over here it's a crime. We got a guy in Staten Island. A Gumbara. Agumbara. Agumbara gets drunk. Instead of calling this, what if he calls Agumbara? That's an Italian thing. He calls Agumbara. He's one of the congressmen of Staten Island. And he turns around and calls his girlfriend. Well, well the governor of New Jersey. Well, the governor. Not in New, York. Governor. Governor New York. <laughs> this is what I love. Spitzer, they throw him out. So we get a blind guy who's been humping for 20 girls, and they, all the girls said that he was his wife. So he didn't see it. <laughs> he didn't see it. So he goes, I don't know. I didn't know it wasn't my wife. I thought it was honey. Is that you? She goes, yeah. <laughs> they should have threw him out on purpose, Spitzer. 